Today I'm filming my first update for my Project Pan Roulette. If you have not seen my first video, I will link it right here down below and it will be linked at the end of the video as well. If you'd like to click on that link here, it will open in a new window so you can pause this one and watch that one and then come back to this one. But basically what I'm doing is I'm picking my products from this bowl here. It doesn't have specific products, but what these are are slips of paper that have a type of product that I'm supposed to use. Like this one here is an eye product in my least favorite color. So I picked 10 of these and that determined what I picked for my project pan and I do still have some left so as I finish products I will pick another thing from the bowl here and I will pick a new product based on that. And some of them are really easy suggestions, some of them are rather difficult. It seemed this time I did not get any quick products. <laughs> so. I don't have anything finished this time, though I do feel like I've made some good progress on some of them. So let's get into it. The very first thing that I have, I can't really measure at all. It's completely opaque packaging. I just have to use it till it's gone. And that is the MAC Prep and Prime Vibrancy Eye Primer. And I will show up here what restriction, I guess, that this product was. Then I have the Hard Candy Take It Off Makeup Remover and I didn't have any of these marked when I did the original video but I did mark them afterwards so I started right here and I am now right here. It actually looks like I used a good bit but this is really thick right here so there's definitely a lot more product in it. Then I have the Marc Jacobs Dot Perfume, and I really do like this. I haven't used a ton of this though yet because I was finishing my Six Cents by Summer, so I have used a little of this. I didn't mark on the packaging, but I did take a picture, so I will take another picture, and you may or may not be able to tell a difference if there even is any. Then I had the Benefit Benetint right here. I'm not sure if you can tell. That top line right there is where I started. So I have used a tiny bit of it. This actually takes a long time to use because I have started using it on both my cheeks and my lips, which is something I'd never done before. I used to only use it on my lips. But I do use it for pretty much all of that and it doesn't go very quickly at all. Then I had the Macadamia Natural Oil Healing Oil Treatment. And I started about right here and it's about right here. It's hard to tell. I kind of have to hold it up to the light and kind of mark it from behind so I can see where it is. So it's not quite right, but that's probably the closest I could get to it right there. And then I had the Stila Kitten Eyeshadow, and my goal on the eyeshadow or any other pressed powder products is basically to have a decent sized pan. So I'm not counting it done if it has just that tiny pinprick, but I don't necessarily need to use the whole thing. I just need to have enough pan that I can fit a brush in and have it be completely clear there. So this is where I am. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is a big dent in the center. It was actually really easy to get this dent. I'm using it as an inner corner thing right here. So I have been using a pencil brush kind of thing and just stabbing it in the same place every single time. This is really soft. 
so it does go down quick so I may actually be able to at least hit the pan fairly quickly but I do have to clear out a decent amount before this would be considered done and where I would pick something new. Then I have the e.l.f. lip exfoliator right here and I am right there and it's really gross looking it's like it started to melt and break on the thing and I have used this every day I use it in the morning before I put on lip balm and sometimes I use it at night too if I was wearing the stain and I feel like the stain has stuck on there a little bit so I am using this every day and that is making it go by fairly quickly I feel like this might actually be done by the end of the month. Then I have the Holica Holica Sweet Cotton Pore Cover Powder. And this one, it's kind of hard to measure. The packaging is, is opaque, so I can't do it the way I had on other powder products but if I tap it down I finally got rid of everything that was in the top more or less there's a tiny bit there but I can hold it like this and kinda of see how much I have but I have used a little bit more than the picture is going to show because I did have stuff in the top part of it that I cleared out first so if the picture shows any progress it will have actually been a little bit more than that And then the next product is the Urban Decay Radium Pencil. And it looks like this. I've only sharpened it once, I think. And it is not my favorite thing. So I'm sure you can guess which one this was. The product I like least. But I have been finding ways to use it so it doesn't look so awful. I did this look right here which I have a get ready with me for coming up. I actually did it right before this video but it will be up after this. And then I have the Tarte Brown Gel Liner and it looks like this. This one's actually hard to measure as well. I'm not sure I took a photo of this in the first place, but I will take one of this just to have future reference. I use this mostly on my eyebrows because it's actually a pretty good match for that, especially now that my hair is darker. So that is everything for my Project Pan Roulette update. This has not been the most exciting, I know, because I don't have anything finished, but these are products that are going to take longer, and hopefully I will have at least one of them finished in the next update. I'll talk to you later. Bye.